participants, judges, and everyone watching back home. We just want to congratulate all the participants for doing such a great job at Top Running TV Season 1. We're excited to announce the winning team and that winner who will receive the prize package of $10,000. That's right, Eloina. It's a great night. We've got the participants here. We're going to talk to them. We're going to review some of their work and uh, get to hear a little bit more from them. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great night. Yes, I'm excited too. I can't wait. So stay tuned because after the commercials, we will get to hear from each team why should we select them. Oh, that's going to be great. Bro, just wait till you try the acai and the bataya bowl. What, 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 what? You'll see. Juice Blanche Bowls, now open in McAllen, Texas. So how do you feel, huh? Ernest born, baby. Okay, Nick, the time is finally here to hear each team's reason why should the judges select them. Are you ready for that? I'm excited to hear what they got to say. Now, some of the things I think they're going to say, I'm going to have uh, some critiques about, but uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, yeah, and I can't wait to hear them out. All right, Dapper Gents, you're up first. So I, um, I think our creative was totally on point as far as like conceptualizing everything, but as far as our, our performance in the show, it kind of reminds me of one of those, you know, cooking competitions. I don't think we use every ingredient in the basket, you get me? So, uh, yeah, even though I think some of our creatives, whereas the ideas might have been, uh, you know, conceptually better, I think, I mean, come on, we didn't finish there with all the assignments on time. We didn't finish every aspect of it. So there's definitely people that deserve better at this point in time, deserve to win. You know what, maybe we'll come again in, that, you know, another season, but... As far as I'm concerned, man, like, you know, even though I'm proud of what we did, totally better out there. Get me? So Dapper Gents, you all came on strong. You've always had uh, great presentations and a great presence when you come into the, uh, to the boardrooms. Um, you missed a lot of deadlines and, and uh, really in this business that's unexcusable. You're going to have to work on that. You're going to have to figure out uh, ways to make sure that you can finish things on time. It lets everyone down when you don't do that but your creativity um, and your willingness to stand in the line of fire uh, earned you some points with me. Aeroglass, we're ready to hear from you. What I think made us a great team was the fact that we would, we would work on each other's ideas. We would always not be satisfied. We'd always try to put out more creative ideas out on the table, and then we would help each other on, on set, try to implement them, make them come to life. And working together was really a great experience to make it all happen and just work as hard as we could and use all the time and the resources that we had to be able to implement and everything as effectively and as best as possible. We learned from each other whether our, his strength was my weakness and my strength was his weakness. At the end of the day, we're one team and we worked everything together. And we, we took as our name that it was we were trying to offer our best professionalism. I loved how when it was glitz and glamour, you went the extra mile, brought in models, did the commercial even though that uh, it could have fallen apart. But then there were times like with Earthborn where it seems like you took shortcuts and that hurt you in uh, the final judging. Um, I think you make a great point when you say that you worked as a team. And I really believe that's one of your big strengths. Being able to be thrown into an, uh, a group of people and say you're going to work with this person um, and be able to do that well is a, a skill that's necessary to make it in this business. Great job on that. Branding House, this is your time. 
So initially when we both came in here, we had a lot of obstacles that we had to overcome, um, but I think we both ha were really up to par with each other as far as when it comes to editing. And each project that we got each week, um, even though we felt like it, sometimes we, it wasn't our best, we still wanted to go above and beyond and kind of get ideas from each other and um, really just um, connect together as peers and make our projects the best that they possibly could be. Yeah, adding to what Eliana said, I feel what our best traits were our, were our adaptability and our tenacity, right? We were able to take the criticism that we got every week and we were able to become better for the following week and we were just able to stick in there through the thick and thin. There's no denying that the creativity in this team is at a high level. You're smart, you're energetic, and you're a creative uh, group of people. In the beginning, I think there were some challenges. And in the beginning, you could really see where those challenges cause cracks in your work. You can't allow personality differences to cause issues in the work that you're doing for a client. You're gonna be put in teams, you gotta be able to work hard together no matter what. But with that said, as you move forward, everything started coming together and I think you put some great products together and uh, like I say, your creativity was just amazing when you guys were functioning at 100%. Last but not least, Spark Agency. I think we deserve to win because we put the client first. We always uh, decided to go in early, do our research, make sure we got what our client wanted and deliver. Um, I think we were one of the few that actually uh, put that as a priority. We already knew that we had to work together and you know, uh, you know, battle through those obstacles of learning how to work as a team. And I think we did great um, at uh, doing that. In the beginning, uh, there was some rough patches, but I think throughout all of it, we got along pretty well and we kind of uh, learned a lot from each other. So I feel like this was a very learning experience and our ideas were just great for the client at the end of the day. I think you're right. Towards the end, you all were working together as a great team. In the beginning, though, there were some difficulties. I heard a lot of you during your presentations where you were saying I and me and not we and us. When you're a team, you've always got to be we and us. Now, that changed as things move forward. And I will say there's no denying that within your team there was a lot of intelligence and a lot of skill. But that as much as a benefit can also be a drawback. But when you guys were firing on all of your cylinders, when you were up there doing what you needed to do, uh, the commercials were gorgeous. They were just beautiful to watch and uh, definitely serve the client well. Glitz & Glamour, we strive to give you the best service in finding the perfect dress for your event. From weddings to pageants to prom, we've got you covered. Glitz & Glamour has the perfect dresses to make your night one to remember. To make an appointment, call 956-630-4948 or stop by our boutique at 2109 South 10th Street in McAllen. are ready to announce the first eliminating team. And that team is Dapper Gents. Good luck on everything that you guys thank do you. on sure, your career and you. your paths and thank you for participating in Top Branding TV. Of course, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. The time that everyone has been waiting for is finally here. The judge is ready to select the final team. This has been tough. We've uh, discussed it and uh, 
while all the teams did great, there's only one team who can win, and I'm looking forward to uh, shaking that group's hand right now. But before I shake anybody's hand, who thinks that they won, who thinks they lost? Show of hands, who thinks they won? All right, I like that confidence, but guess what? A couple of you are going home with your hands put back down. All right, I want to thank everybody for coming out. You all did great, and I think that uh, you each deserve some kind of prize. Of course, we can't do that. Only one team can get the prize this, uh, this season. So I want to say congratulations to the winning team, Team Aeroglass. That's right, congratulations. Thank you all for all your participation. <laughs> Are you looking for the best outdoor kitchen equipment available in the Rio Grande Valley? Our experts at South Texas Outdoor Kitchens can help you find the perfect product for your needs. Come on by if you want to make your outdoor kitchen the place to be. South Texas Outdoor Kitchens is located in San Juan, Texas at 302 West Expressway 83. Wow, Nick, how tough was that? That was really difficult. We saw a group of professionals here who are definitely ready to take on the valley and do some great things in broadcast and marketing. Yes. Um, getting rid of that group was, was difficult, but we got two awesome people here. And right I can't now. wait to see who will get to win that $10,000 prize package. It's going to be, be tough, yes, mm -hmm. and fun. All right, guys, well, remember that for season two, the eliminating process will be quite different than this pilot. So are you ready to take on and to ask them the questions? Let's rock and roll. All right, team, great job getting this far. Remember, we're looking for the top branding person for this season. The one question that we need answered, why are you better than your partner? Fernando, why don't you answer first? As far as, as great as my partner was and as much as he helped, um, I spent nights without sleeping, working on projects, editing. And when I came down to the editing process, it wasn't simple edits. It was things that I was trying to make better. So as far as if I had to edit frame by frame, which took hours, I would do, if, um, if I would do last minute um, things to make it better to the last minute that I had possible, I would stay up all night just working on it, trying to make it as best as possible to turn into the judges and try to impress them as much as I could. I think in this industry, it's very important to show the confidence and the, the appearance that you have. So I've always tried to myself, whether it was, it was something super professional, I've always tried myself to look at my best and feel my best. So every time we, we were presenting as a team, and when it was my turn to present for the team, it was very important for me look, to look good and to feel good and to show the confidence I had for the client. I think the client, really needs the confidence that you're trying to tr trying to provide them. At the end of the day, the scouting of the talent, it was, I, I spent a lot of time doing the scouting of the talent because it's very important, not only for the editing, but it's very important for the demographics that are in the video, for the, for the customer, for the client to feel confident and to feel satisfied with that video that's in there. Good answers. All right, let the judges get to work now. Thank you and good luck. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Very. for making it this far. I am so excited to finally know who the winner will be. I know you guys would be so successful in your future career paths. So I just want to thank the judges, Nick Taylor, Dr. Nick Taylor, and the judges who weren't able to be here, I'm going to be their voice. Yvonne we'll and John from the Design House, Giselle from Be Bold Media. And I want to thank you, Eloina. Watching you this, uh, this season was 
awesome. You did a great job. You Thank brought you a so lot much. of life to the show, and you made it a fun experience. You got everybody in and out. I think you did amazing, and and it, it was really great. Thank you. It was very interesting to meet to meet each of their own personalities and bring it out there. Right? It was I mean, fun. Yes. Yeah, meeting everybody was great. So, are you ready? I'm kind of ready. not ready. I'm really nervous. I'm ready for you to announce it this right. time. <laughs> well, are you guys ready? The winner is Fernando Sanchez. Oh God! Thank you for being my partner. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. That's crazy. Are you looking for the best outdoor kitchen equipment available in the Rio Grande Valley? Our experts at South Texas Outdoor Kitchens can help you find the perfect product for your needs. Come on by if you want to make your outdoor kitchen the place to be. South Texas Outdoor Kitchens is located in San Juan, Texas at 302 West Expressway 83. Hello guys, my name is Fernando Sanchez and I'm one of the contestants of the Top Branding Reality TV Show and I'm very excited to tell you guys that I'm also the first ever season winner and I'm so thrilled to tell you guys that I came here today to pick up this amazing $2,500 check. Also, I get to stay two weeks at the island and I get to have my own office in this building for six months to be able to start my own business. Now, before I started this reality TV show, I didn't have much hands-on experience, but with this amazing show, I was given the opportunity to do real hands-on work for real businesses and haven't been judged by amazing people who have a lot of experience in the industry. It taught me time management, it taught me how to get the work done, and a lot of things that I had to learn on the way with amazing teamwork experience as well. It all shaped me into a great person today to be able to have my own business. Now that is something very, very valuable aside from these amazing prices as well so i would definitely want to invite you guys to the second season because it's going to be a great experience overall you guys are going to learn so much you're going to have so much fun and you're going to make new friends and you're definitely going to have the chance to be sitting here where i am today to be able to have this amazing check the opportunity for the island like how amazing is that and also like one of the best parts having your own office and to be able to start your own business how, how crazy is that so come on guys let's do this let's go to the second season i know you guys will be thrilled <laughs> <laughs>